Nobody but nobody plays more music in the evening. It's Carl James on Drive Time on Midlands 103. Midlands 103. Midlands 103. You're on the drive till seven. It is Carl on the way. We've got the new single from Florence on the Machine called Shake It Out and a nice memory from Michael Jackson as well. Okay, always when we get... The fire candidates on the show the next day after The Apprentice. We usually play the clip in the boardroom where Bill goes around and around and then he goes, Louise, you're fired. We're not going to do that today because it's Bank Holiday Weekend. People are a bit shook. They're not as in good form after the Bank Holiday Weekend. They're tired. So we're going to spare Louise that clip and uh, talk to her straight away. Louise, good evening to you. Hi, Karen. How are you? Are you happy I'm not playing that clip? I've heard it a few times today now at this stage, so... Um, <laughs> I knew you would. Come here. Uh, did you enjoy, and I mean that in a kind of a broad sense, your experience in The Apprentice? Absolutely. I enjoyed every single minute of it. Um, e- even the most frustrating minutes, you know, e- even the fights, I think it was all part and parcel of an exhilarating, adrenaline fueled experience. It was, and can I say something that I saw just before uh, Bill stuck out his finger and said you're fired last night? I saw something that I haven't seen in any of The Apprentices, even uh, the UK one uh, with Alan Sugar, and that's, uh, you know, with you in the boardroom were, uh, was it Connor and Eugene? That's correct, yeah. I never saw anyone bless themselves just before they thought they were going to be fired. And sneakily, if, if people look back, Connor pretends he isn't, but he kind of puts his hand on his shoulders. I've done it myself. That's how I know. Yeah, I spotted it. I spotted it. And to be fair, it must have worked for him because yeah. I think he should have gone, really. But, um, yeah. I, like, I, I was the same. I went in there with rosary beads, you know? With rosary beads, yeah. Like, because <laughs> if you kind of look the way Bill does it and uh, they do it in the UK, they kind to start with one person they go to maybe three before they get to the last uh, sentence uh, which is uh, the person they're firing so they kind of go over and back a few times so yeah. I expected it to move from you on to Connor and I think he did too <laughs> he did too so come here who was your favourite person in the house while you were there oh my favourite um, Peter was really really good to me actually hmm. um he had my back and he was like, Louise, Connor and Eugene are ganging up on you. Oh. You really need to pull something out of the bag. And he's like, maybe they're going to pull me into the boardroom. So we're going to fight, you know? Yeah. Um, Susie was uh, just such a pleasure as well. I know she's really quiet on the show, but um, she, she's a fun girl. <laughs> she really is. And then um, I suppose Brian. Brian was just, he was a laugh, but he was a joy to work with. Yeah. You haven't seen him shine yet, but um, he would do anything. To You know, he really, really tried. Um, I think yesterday he was he was um, berated for taking so long to make a decision. He had yeah. a couple of weeks before that, Yinka got fired for making mythical deadlines, you know? Mythical. So you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. <laughs> yeah, that was the first, wasn't it, in business? It's not a real deadline. <laughs> but uh, one point we want to say as well, in relation to yourself, Louise and uh, firstly we don't think you should have been fired that's a different thing Uh, but in the programme itself you did speak out you did like if people don't listen to you there's nothing you can do about that like you're not the police right so uh, I mean if you say look a billboard you have three seconds you go by a billboard you need to catch the the message very quickly briefly and flash into your eyes you need to see it it doesn't need to be a big flyer like uh, Connor was trying to make it with a hundred different things it's going to be a flyer and you did say this and yes you're fired so I think Bill has selective hearing and I know it's a different process this year because there isn't a job involved there's an investment yeah. Yeah. So. well I suppose I was in a house with 15 people that were never wrong before you know and um, I was telling them they were wrong and they obviously didn't understand that because no. they mustn't have heard anything like that before so maybe they didn't understand me never heard <laughs> you know, wrong they didn't listen because they didn't want to hear you know yeah. selective hearing and uh, come here uh, so if you, would you do it again if you had a, a choice I would do it all again in the morning Brilliant. You're, you're the good, problem you're is I wouldn't do it any differently so I'd still get fired no well look you got <laughs> fired right and you didn't deserve it and that you what you were criticised for by the other people of uh, not speaking up or saying you certainly did speak up and you did say it you just didn't bully and shout and roar and uh, yeah exactly you know I could have done what Bill does but that's not me either <laughs> that's not you either so look at um, in your own uh, personal life uh, what was your business idea have you got it up and running or what stage is it at right now yeah my business idea was customer service training um, my background is in retail and my mum and dad own a central supermarket in Foxford County Mayo I know, I know Foxford well I'm from Mayo so <laughs> 
where you need to come into the shop and visit I them. will, I will visit you. Um, and I suppose I've always been brought up with the customer comes first. The customer put me through college, you know, put the food on our table. So that's what I wanted to do, um, a customer service training course. Mm. Now, I suppose... I my background definitely would have suited, but I was I was thinking logically as well. Bill teaches. Um, he has car sales training courses. He has the expertise, and he'd be able to fast track that to FeeTac for me. Mm. You know, so basically, I wasn't there to make money for Bill. I wanted Bill to make money yeah. for me. Um, so I'm going to put my business idea on the back burner at the moment, and I suppose I'm going to put a request out to the country if anyone would like to hire a marketing graduate who has just finished. Uh, crash course in marketing with Mr. Cullen and um, during that crash course I am very very proud of my Unislim app um, that I PM'd and oh, yeah. we got the number one um, iTunes download as well so Definitely. I'm very very proud of that so yeah. if, any, if anyone would like to hire Louise O'Hara I am available <laughs> Louise O'Hara I'll say we'll hook up with you on Facebook on my own uh, page here we'll hook up Excellent. with you on that we'll keep an eye on you and uh, when we're passing through Foxford um, in the next while, we'd yes, pop please. into the supermarket, all right? Absolutely. Come on into Centra. And we wish you the very best uh, luck with that whole idea. And you never know, as I say, how it might mushroom. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Carol. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.